Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome to Kind of Crafty Kenzie. I am Kenzie and today I have some super sweet and just like soft and subtle Valentine's Day DIYs for y'all so let's go. This a first DIY I am actually just going to use this door that I got from Dollar General. I picked up quite a few of these back in like early fall, which I thought was funny because that little truck that was on there actually had like Christmas presents and Santa sack in it. So <laughs> that was kind of funny, but we can use that for next Christmas. So this did take some elbow grease and some of like my he woman strength to get this stuff off of here. I know it looks like, oh, it's just glue, it'd be simple. Well, Dollar General uses way better hot glue than Dollar Tree, and that stuff stuck. I had to use my heat gun to get it off, and there was no saving it because it just, like, crinkled up into nothing. And then down here at the bottom, it's such a mess with, they have staples in there holding down this floral, like, wire, and then it's all marred up. Like, you can see, like, all the nicks and the holes and... But I just got it all off of there and then I just sanded it down the best that I could, used my heat gun to remove as much glue as I could, sanded that and it turned out fine. I DIY'd one of these back like in the fall for some shabby chic fall um, and I love it because you can totally just like switch out like the little wreath which is basically what we're doing with this one as well and then you can have it up all year round. These little wreaths I got, I think these are like great grapevine wreaths. Um, I got these in a pack from Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was like a 12 pack. It's either 12 or 24. I will try my best to link it. I'm terrible at remembering to link my Amazon stuff. So if you need the link, let me know. Um, but yeah, it, they're, they're on Amazon guys. And even if I forget to link it, I apologize, but you could just type it in and you'll find it. Then I painted it white a little bit to just kind of lighten it up. I didn't want like that dark brown, even though only a little bit comes through. But I just took a bunch of like sprigs and stuff that I had like in a bag of like all my leftovers, just like little pieces of greenery from florals from everywhere. And I went ahead and hot glued those down. And then as you can see, I went ahead and added some little floral pieces as well. Then I just pounded a little um, nail in like the center of the door, like where you would hang a wreath on your door. And I always use, um, what are those called? pliers because I'm afraid I'm gonna break my thumb <laughs> so I wanted this to say welcome but the only welcome sign that I had left in my stash was too big and I just did not like the way it looked so I improvised and went ahead and just removed the welcome from this welcome fall that you could that I got with these um with the with the dollar tree you guys know I use in my last video I, I've used them a lot the back in fall time dollar tree released all those little words <laughs> Uh, can I still blame it on COVID brain or maybe it's just blonde brain at this point? I don't know. But anyways, as you can see, the fall did get ruined and the welcome did come off letter by letter. But I painted them like with like a little bit of a pouncy motion with some of the Nimbus light gray chalk paint by Waverly. And then I did use my ruler to line it up so that I can at least keep that as straight as possible. And then I'm just using some of this really awesome brush on Gorilla Super Glue. I love it because you can control it a little bit better. And this adorable little door is all done. And like I said, you could totally leave this out all year round and just change out that little wreath. It's so cute. But this is my Valentine's Day door and wreath. And like I said, this will take you right into the spring as well. This moment, can we stay I could stop the time, don't you know that I would, cause I new here today a welcome my name is Mackenzie aka Kenzie and I am so excited that you found my channel and clicked on my video today I hope you are loving everything you see so far crafting and DIYing is my passion so if that is what you are into you're in the right place so don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification on for this next DIY I am going to use this little wood round that you can get from Walmart they're around the dollar they're a little under so it's like basically the same as if you can get these at the Dollar Tree it's just 
my Dollar Trees never have any of this cool stuff that like a lot of y'alls do. So I'm sure you guys have seen those wood rounds that people hang on their front door that say like welcome and uh, maybe like the Millers established 2009 with a bow on it or something. I love those. I think they're so so cute. So I wanted to make little mini versions of those um, and that's what I did. Now this isn't going to be like a welcome sign that you would hang on your door because it's so little it would totally get lost but it's just like a cute little Valentine's Day decor piece that you could put anywhere. I actually made my first one of these back in the fall and I made it double sided. One side was very neutral, um, you know, like any time of year, and the other side was fall, and it was actually a gift for my aunt, and I think they are so adorable, so I definitely wanted to make more for all the other seasons, so this side is obviously Valentine's Day, and you can see where I just went ahead and taped off um, where I wanted my pinks to go. The darker pink um, on the left right now is like the vintage rose, and the other pink that's now on the bottom is a uh, cameo pink, and they're both from Apple Barrel. You get them from Walmart. Then I just left the middle white and then I went ahead and used some of these little like um, wooden stickers that you get from the Dollar Tree. I got them last year. As you can see they did have glitter on them. I just painted over that glitter with some Nimbus Gray chalk paint and it gave it like a really cool texture. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole for my hanger. Now this hanger color is pink. So it would definitely need to be changed out when I would do the other side, maybe like St. Patrick's Day or Easter or even just a spring piece, whatever you want. Um, and then you could definitely reuse those white beads over. And those beads come from the packs I get from Amazon. And I'll try to remember to link those, you guys. And I just painted them white and then I just attached a little bow. And this little cute little Valentine's Day hanger is all done. On to DIY and number three, I am just going to use this little like framed picture that you can get from the Dollar Tree. That bless the nest word came right off just with my hand. I think it was already broken, so there was really no saving it. I went ahead and removed the hanger from the back of this and then just gave it a good coat of the white chalk paint. I don't think I had to use two coats, but I might have went in here and there and touched it up. Now I'm going to take this little heart that I actually got off of a sort of like a beaded garland um, from Dollar General last year. And I, as you can see, I disassembled it. But then I just filled the little hole in with some spackle and then I just covered it with some of that tea rose um, folk art paint, that acrylic paint, not folk art, you guys, apple barrel that I used in the last project. I did print the L and the V and the E off of my Cricut. And obviously I'm gonna use the little heart as the O. I did distress over that vinyl to kind of give it a little bit of a rustic look. And I did the same thing with the little heart. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just super glue it down onto the little um, the little stand, I, or the little frame, the little, the backing, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just use hot glue, um, but super glue obviously works just as quickly. Then I did just attach this little tiny bow um, to this little heart just to kind of still camouflage where that little hole was. You could still see it just a little bit. And then I went ahead and reassembled the sign using those little clips that were already on it to put it back in place. Really nice and simple, but I still think so pretty and so perfect. For my fourth and final DIY today, I am going to take this cute little cutting board sign that I got last year from the Dollar Tree. I know they were super hard to find out. I was only able to get a couple. And I just went ahead and popped off that like 3D um, square piece it also had on there. And then I still ended up flipping it over and using the back. But I didn't want that like interfering with the way it would hang. I gave this two good coats of the white chalk paint. Now I am going to take this little wooden spoon that I got from a little pack from Hobby Lobby back in like the fall season, I believe, but I'm pretty sure they have them all year round. 
um, and I painted it with the Nimbus Gray. This little rolling pin I actually got off of Amazon in a pack that I will try to link for y'all. And I just painted it with the ballet slipper. Hubby opened it for me. Thank you. And then I went ahead and printed off this cute little homemade with love with that little whisk in the middle off of my Cricut. Like I told you guys before, my Cricut is up and running and it's like crooked on speed. I don't know. It's like so fun because it actually works. <laughs> so I'm like really excited to be using it then I took some of that blush pink twine that I've been using in my other projects today and I just kind of wrapped it around the handle of the cutting board just to give it a little bit of that farmhouse feel I just hot glued a little bit of it down and then I just continued to wrap around the handle until I was happy with how much I had on there and then I just simply put a little dollop of glue every time I say dollop of glue I think of dollop of daisy you know the sour cream the commercial Anyways, I put that on the back of this just to kind of, you know, hold it in place. Now it's time to apply the vinyl and I only used the homemade with love and then the whisk. I did omit the gray hearts. Instead, I brought in some pink ones to kind of break up the monotony of the gray and have a little more pink pop there on the front of the cutting board. Then I just attached the little rolling pin and that little spoon in the corners with some hot glue. I think this is so adorable. This is just, I don't know, this is definitely hands down my favorite DIY of this video. I, this is just so sweet and it was so easy and inexpensive to make. I did go ahead over that vinyl with some of my white chalk paint. You guys know if you watch me much at all, <laughs> I do this all the time to kind of tone down the shine of the vinyl and make it look a little more aged. And then I just use some of that blush twine that I've been using the um, whole video and just attached a little hanger. And this little cutting board is all done. I just think it's so precious. I can't get over it. You guys will have to let me know what you all think of it. And that is it for today's video, you guys. I'm so happy you guys came along with me while I made these crafts. I love making Valentine's Day DIYs because one of my favorite colors is pink. And this is really the only time I get to craft with pink. Um, so it's fun. But anyways, I'm so excited for Friday's video and I think you will be too. So make sure your bell notification is on and subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel grow. And I am so excited for you guys to see Friday's video. So don't forget to be here. I will see you then. Bye guys. Forever.